we can filter by years quarters months or days let me filter by years and if you select a year the pivot table will get filtered by that year In this quick video, I would like to show you how to use a pivot table timeline in Microsoft Excel. I have this pivot table in here where it's cities and sales and this graph that is being linked to this pivot table. And my data is over here. I have a department, first name, last name, and the most important column, a date. To create a pivot table timeline, you need to have a column where you hold dates. Now let's see how to do it. I'm going to go to the spreadsheet where I have my pivot table and click on the pivot table. And from over here, the pivot table tools menu will be enabled i'm going to go to analyze and i'm going to hit insert timeline and if i did not have that date column i would have gotten an error here but i do have it and uh, i can select it from here i'm going to hit ok and nothing really happens except i get this thing in here that i'm going to expand and it has a few options we can filter by years quarters months or days let me filter by years and if you select a year the pivot table will get filtered by that year which is really really interesting and you can even select a quarter if you want to see the data from q2 2021 or if you want data that expands across multiple quarters you can do that with the pivot table slicer and you can even select individual days to filter on those let's see if we have data for the 22nd of june 2020 we do not but this is a really cool option that you can use in microsoft excel now i hope this was useful to you please let me know in the comments if you will use the timeline in your reports. If you learn something new, please hit the thumbs up button and see you in the next video.